is. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, BS is not a swear word. It means before Solomon, because before Solomon, you might have gotten a lot of BS. But once you deal with us, we shoot you straight. So that's kind of my tagline. And it plays really into what I believe in how I act with clients. You know, I just tell them the truth. And if I don't tell them, if I don't think it's a good time to buy, I don't, the words that come out of my mouth don't uh, affect my pocketbook. It, the words that come out of my mouth are exactly what I would do my, myself, what I would tell my mom or my dad to do, what I would tell my family members to do and whatever. And I would tell my, my friends to do. I don't change my sales pitch because one thing that I would tell a client would be different than what I would do myself or tell a close family member to do. I just always stay congruent. And I, and I really think about it. I like, I really think about it. Like, what would I do if it was my situation and I hear their circumstances, like, what would I do? Um, and then I just analyze it. Like, for example, um, Sally sent me an email yesterday and it was regarding a reverse mortgage. And I think people know that I don't agree with reverse mortgages. I think people should sell their homes before they get a reverse mortgage. But I can understand being 80 years old and being bedridden that selling your house and moving when you're bedridden is probably a pain in the butt to do. I get it. So in that instance, I could see where a reverse mortgage would make sense for somebody. The client is behind in their payments, obviously. That's why uh, Sally's, you know, been in contact with them. And so I told her, well, you know, maybe bringing the loan current, and that's what I do for my clients. I'll, I'll give them the money to bring their loan current, put a second trust deed on their house, you know, so I, that way I get paid back if they try to screw me over, which... I've had it has happen happened only, before only only once only once but it did happen to me once but it won't stop me from doing it again I'm just more cautious and then putting a for sale sign on the property I've done that I've done that before um so that that would be one option and the other option would be do a reverse mortgage if they can't qualify for financing so that all depends on how much equity they have, what the value of their home is, how old they are. She was concerned that one of the people who was on, uh, who, who one of the married members, uh, one of them was 62 and the other one wasn't. And she was worried that you couldn't get a line uh, or a reverse mortgage because they both had to be 62, which is not true. Only one of the members, uh, only one of the people has to be 62. And so anyways, you know, you just come up with scenarios and you tell people what you would do if it was you and then you shut up and then you let them decide if they're going to call you back or not. I don't rarely reach out to them. And if it's a referral from somebody in this group, they won't even go on my email list. I will never reach out to them. I'm not going to follow up with a phone call. Nothing. If they want to call me, they know that I answer my phone. That's it. That's the way I operate when realtors refer me business. Now, when it's my own client, I'll put them on my email list. I'll find them on Facebook. I'll put my marketing on my Facebook business page and I'll see if they have a Facebook profile and find out if I can match up their email address with a Facebook profile. And I'll try to reach them on Facebook and I'll send an email to them once every couple months. That's when it's my client, not a referral. When it's a referral, I leave them alone. I don't even call them back unless I tell them I'm going to call them back. Of course, I call them back, but I don't reach out to them at all. They call me if they want me. And that's the way I do it. Well, and that's, I, and that's kind of the greater point of this and the video I shot at the beginning. What are you creating as your personal brand? People don't hire 
based on expertise as much as I'd like to believe that they would. They don't. They hire based on a brand, something that connects them. Uh, and there are countless books, including by Seth Godin, that talk about it. And that's why you do tribe building, and that's why you do email, and that's why you do uh, social media. You create your tribe. They follow your message. They become your clients. They refer people to you. And creating that personal brand is important. Tina Herman writes, my minister called me Hurricane Tina because of my hurricane logo. I need to go with that. Yeah, you do. You need to go with whatever you got to go with. Uh, I, I think that's important. And, and that gets us back to, to you, Fred, and the reason I bring it up. You are still able to give the truth, which I enjoy giving. Um, and I joke all the time, there's a difference between honesty and the truth. The truth is different than being honest. It's totally different. And the truth hurts a lot for people. And I have no problem dishing that out on a consistent basis. Um, I've gotten better at delivering that information and having a bedside manner about it. But by and large, people like you and many people who are on this call, I am completely fascinated with how warm and caring and non cheated to the industry, Fred. I mean, you could easily be in my boat of I'm jaded. No, 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 no. I completely understand why you're insane. Kind of the industry is really hard um, and not for the reasons people think it's my opinion. It's based on incompet incompetency more than anything else. I think there are a lot of experts. I think there are a lot of agents and investors who do great jobs and lots of people who teach great things. What makes me crazy are the people who think they know something and they know nothing. Um, and that's the hard part for all of us in this industry. You watch somebody like the video I just showed you going basically half naked, got a listing, walked out of a pool, guarantee it's going to get her calls. Now, are they good calls? Don't know, but calls nonetheless and calls are all there really is at the end of the day. T Miller, there's no one size fits all in real estate or real estate lending. Reverse mortgages need to be a tool in our toolbox. A reverse mortgage can be repaid uh, or treated like a forward mortgage if desired Yeah, or slap a life insurance policy to pay it off so it's not passed on to the kids and pays off the loan as well. Um, what say you on? It's also uh, very true. Yeah, uh, all of those are really good strategies. Uh, to, 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 to Isabel, RM is a great tool for a homeowner in their seventy. Uh, reverse. You guys are on reverse mortgages. I don't even know where this segue on reverse mortgages. It was a great talk about branding, and we're on reverse mortgages, which is funny. Uh, it's it was good. just the example that I gave. No, and I think they're important, right? Like I've had the question from my mother as well for some of the properties in, um, you know, so she has extra cash to, I don't know, go to Rome. I don't, I don't know what my mom does with all the money actually. Um, but I, I completely understand it, right? Like it's certainly, it's available. It's certainly out there. It's better than, you know, taking a HELOC in this market. I mean, we'll talk about it tomorrow because it's going to happen tomorrow. This afternoon, they're going to raise the rate, Fred. I mean, that's tomorrow. It's going to be tomorrow, tomorrow officially. Yeah. Has, and then, the, has the interest rate changed today? Uh, let me look. That's a good question. Let me see what it I've usually heard. reacts about a day early. Oh, yeah. No, the, based on what they think is going to happen with the Fed. Uh, so, Oh yeah, the yields are down to two seventy seven. They open two seventy three. Where are they down? Uh, they're down a little bit today. Um, what are they closed at yesterday? One day. Uh, they yesterday they closed at two seventy three. Uh, so they're up about four. Let's see here. Let me go to my trusty little website that i always go to and it will tell me exactly what's going on i was just looking on seven percent uh two year 10 year treasury hold on one second here 10 year treasury. it's like we're growing 
10 year treasury yield Yahoo Finance. That's what I want. 